Hello guys, thank you for opening this video. My name is Anna Maria and you're all very welcome to this channel. Here I talk about life abroad and about education. And today I would like to talk about a pretty confusing topic for many people, which is taxes in Ireland. I will explain in a very simple way how much taxes you will have to pay on your income and how much money you'll have left after you pay the taxes. And also as a disclaimer, I'm not a specialist about taxes. I'm just making this video to inform you and to just give you an overview about taxes and how much money left you'll have. And if you want to find out more reliable information, please make sure to consult with a specialist. So let me start with a short introduction to taxes. First of all, there are different types of taxes, but today I will talk about the income tax, how much money you pay on your income. There are two types of taxes in Ireland. The first one is the standard rate. That means that a part of your salary is being taxed at 20% and the second one is the higher rate. That means that the remainder of your salary is taxed at 40%. I'm going to bring up an example a little bit later in this video. Also, there are different categories that you can use when paying taxes depending on your social situation. So you can pay taxes as a single person, you can pay taxes as a married person with just one income, or you can pay taxes as a married person with two incomes or you can pay taxes as a single parent. Let me get to an example and I'll try to get a very easy and a very straightforward example and I'll try to make the notes on the screen for you so you can see them as well. But let's pretend a person, a single person, earns 50,000 euro gross salary. We want to find out how much money he will pay in taxes and how much money he will have left after he'll pay the taxes. As we were talking about the standard rate, 35,500 euro will be taxed at 20% and the reminder of the balance, which is 14,500 euro will be taxed at 40%. And now let's get into some calculations. 35,500 euro will be taxed at 20% that means that the person will pay 7,100 euro in tax and the salary will be 28,400 euro. Now the balance, which is 14,500 euro, will be taxed at 40% and that means that 5,800 euro will be gone towards taxes and 8,700 euro will be the income from that salary. Now, let me sum up. The gross salary was 50,000 euro, the tax paid is 12,900 euro, and the net salary is 37,100 euro per year. We divide that sum by 12 months to find out how much money one person will get per month, and that means that per month there will be 3,091 euro. You have to check these amounts because Every year these amounts they change and different amounts are taxed at 20%, different amounts are taxed at 40%, but you can check this online. And I will tell you on which website you can check all this information at the end of this video. So 50,000 euro per month, gross salary, that means that you'll pay about 13,000 euro taxes. I can't say that I met too many people who earn about 50,000 euro per year, um, but they do certainly exist. And another thing, if you earn up to 13,000 euro per year, then you will pay no taxes. Let's say if you earn about 13,000 uh, euro per year divided by 12 months, that means that you will earn 1,083 euro per month. And unfortunately, that's not enough money to survive, to live, and you have to earn a bit more money. Now I wanted to talk about emergency taxes because so many people come to Ireland, they're so happy that they'll be earning so much money, but when they see their first salary, they see that about 40% of their salary is gone towards taxes, and this can be so difficult. So let me tell you about emergency taxes. So if you change jobs or if you just came to Ireland and you do not have a PPS number, that means that all your income will be taxed at 40% and this is called emergency tax. If you just move to Ireland to start to work, you'll need to apply for a personal public service number, which is a PPSN. 
And once you have it, you'll be taxed as normal. Let me give you an example of an emergency tax. So let's say that a person earns 500 euro per week. That means that that person will be taxed at 40%. So 200 euro will go towards taxes and he will have left only 300 euro. But after you get your PPS number, you'll get the refund of extra taxes you paid. So if you earned 500 euro per week, you are supposed to be taxed at 20%. So that means that you were supposed to pay only 100 euro taxes. You paid 200 euro taxes as an emergency tax. You are supposed to pay only 100 euro. So 100 euro is the money that you overpaid and this money will be refunded to you. Now in terms of claiming your taxes back, sometimes we pay so much taxes and you can pay much more taxes than you are supposed to pay. So you can claim your taxes back each year. Year. You can claim your taxes online and to find out how to do this, just Google it. I'm not going to go into too many details about it, but you can always Google it. It takes about two to four weeks to get your refund. Almost the last part of my video is tax relief. Sometimes you can pay less taxes and you can get a tax relief in the following situations. If you are a single person, if you are a widow, or if you're looking after a person who is incapacitated or an old relative as well. And there are a few other situations. In these cases, you can pay less taxes and that's amazing because this is a great support for you. Let's say you're a single mom and you want to invest more money into your child, you'll pay less taxes to be able to invest much more money into the education of your child. Cool, again, I'm not going to go into too many details about this topic either, but I just wanted to let you know that this is possible to claim your taxes back and to get a tax relief. I just wanted to let you know that this is possible and it's a common practice in Ireland. Now, in terms of resources that you can use to inform yourself. And you can read a lot of reliable information on the following website, citizeninformation.ie. It's always a very reliable, good, trustful information. Also, you can find citizen information offices in Dublin and you can get some information, guidance and help for free. This is very important. You can always be helped. This is amazing. Cool, guys. If this video was useful for you, please give it a like. If you have more questions, please write them in the comments. Thank you for watching me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the bell icon to get notified every time I'll have a new video and I'll see you in my next one.